Hello, my name is Ian Dean, and today I'll be talking about MeshBaker, which is a tool for combining um, assets in or meshes and uh, textures on those meshes into a single large combined mesh and into texture atlases. Uh, this all happens very easily and automatically. Um, why did you want to do that? Performance um, in Unity, every uh, object has its own draw call and uh, these draw calls are expensive so if you can combine them uh, your game will go much faster so let's look at this simple scene I've got all these individual objects uh, all created from prefabs it'd be nice if I could easily combine those well that's what mesh baker does for us so um, there I created a mesh baker object in my scene now mesh baker the first thing it wants is a a prefab to put the combined mesh into and a material uh, to apply for that and it uses the material to know what shader uh, to use and that tells it which textures to look for on the object that we're combining. So let's do those things. So first I'm going to create the prefab. I just browse the directory where I want it. I'll call it platforms. Save and then there's our new prefab and our new material. So um, let's decide what we want to combine. So I've got all these objects. A good way to do this is if I go back to my Mesh Baker, I click Open Tools for Adding Objects. The, I can click List Shaders in Scene. And then if I click this, it gives me a little report telling me what shaders there are and what materials and objects use them. So I can see that uh, the trees all use the same shader and the platforms almost all use self balloon bump to fuse. So that it would be good to maybe create two mesh baker objects, one for self balloon bump to fuse and one for diffuse. So let's do that. I just created that uh, mesh baker object. So the first thing I'll do is set the shader to self balloon bump diffuse. And this tells mesh baker to look for these textures in its source objects and build the atlases out of those. So now I need to add the source objects. So I can uh, do this the Unity way where I drag these one by one in, which is nice but uh, can be slow, especially if you're combining you know, 100 objects. So uh, we've devised some tools to make that faster. So I just select the parent and I can set filters here, but in this case it's unnecessary, so I just click Add Selected Message, uh, Meshes, and then it's added those objects all to the Mesh Baker. So now I just bake it. So this can take a little bit, especially if there's a lot of textures, and so Mesh Baker works away. What it's going to do is it's going to create a mesh and several Atlas textures. There it is, there's the Mesh 3 Atlas textures. And uh, it's built this prefab and put those onto those textures in the right places. And so there, you can see there, see the result. Um, now I probably want to do the same thing with the trees. So I create another mesh baker object for the trees. There it is. I'm going to create an empty prefab, put it in the same place. We'll call this one trees save. Um, I want to set up the trees material to be just diffuse, which it already is. I'm going to select the parent object of all my trees in the, the scene and I just click add selected meshes and it added seven trees to my mesh baker object. And all I have to do now is bake. Oh, no meshes to combine. What happened here? Oh, I added those to the wrong mesh baker object. So select trees and then bake meshes into prefab. And I can drag my trees into the scene, and there are my baked trees. Well, thank you very much. I hope you, uh, it's available in the Asset Store if you're interested.